What is going on, guys? It is Apathy. Today, we got a best setting videos for you guys. We're coming back in with the tips. I just won a 4v4, $4,000 tournament. So, these are settings I was using. 250 plus FPS. Game ran so freaking smooth. You're going to absolutely love it. There's some hidden settings that you guys want on or off in order for your game to be even running better. So, trust me. Watch the whole video. Let's get right into it. So display mode, we're going to rock it on full screen. Make sure you have this on full screen display resolution. Make sure you have this on whatever your resolution actually is. Mine's 1440p. Uh, I do have a 1440p monitor. Therefore, that's what I have it on. But make sure it's on the right one um, for your refresh rate. Make sure it's on the highest refresh rate minus 240. Uh, I don't know why they just wouldn't give me the 240, but I, I'll take it. Uh, V-Sync off, 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 off. V-Sync oh, off. V-Sync menus off. My frame rate limit is capped in menu at 60 because when you are in a main menu and you're kind of chilling, you don't want your PC to be running so hard uh, just to run a menu, right? You really don't need that type of FPS or graphics in a main menu. So I have it capped in 60 and I have this maximized. Uh, for aspect ratio, we have this automatic uh, brightness. I'm running 50. I like to sometimes run 51, 52. Um, it really just helps a little bit with the brightness depending on your monitor, depending on your monitor settings. Um, we got 2.2 automatic for HDR. I'm kind of still messing around with this one. Uh, focus mode. We got it off. Make sure your display adapter is obviously in your graphics card. Now, this is something very important. Very, very important. Listen up. A lot of people are having this packet loss issue, and I was having it too, where I would start up a game out of nowhere, every second lagging, 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 and it just says packet loss. And I was wondering what, why that was happening. Apparently, this setting affects it a lot. And if you have the setting off, it will help you make sure that that doesn't happen so you go you click on it and make sure on-demand texture streaming is off and it should solve that issue now let's get into the good stuff we got the quality quality preset obviously have this on custom i have my res render resolution at 110 you can run it at 100 120 uh dynamic resolution off texture resolution very low texture filter high particle quality level medium particle resolution high bullet impacts raise off shader quality low tessellation off uh level of detail distance range long nearby level of detail high distance level of detail high uh clutter draw distance low volumetric quality level low now some of you guys are wondering why are some of these settings high why are some of these settings low shouldn't they all be low 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 for higher fps there's reasons why these settings are like that some actually improve your fps by having them high and some the difference between low or medium actually don't affect that much to the point where it's worth having slightly better quality and sacrifice of like five frames let's say so that's why those settings are like that uh, screen space shadows off shadow map resolution very low low cache sun shadows cache sun shadows on spot shadows on uh, spot uh cache size very low 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 off this one you for sure want to have it off it will destroy your fps this one as well screen space resolution uh reflection off um nvidia dss off i actually run uh this on balance now this is going to help you gain a lot of fps um you can run it obviously like on performance if you really want to like get even more fps but it says right here on balance major frame rate gain less impact on image quality than performance so this is kind of a good balance where you're gaining frames you know instead of being full on performance where the quality is going to be probably hurt kind of bad um but if you really want even more frames then maybe the quality doesn't even look that bad on performance you can obviously up it to performance i think balance is a good medium uh, for anti-aliasing, we have it on SMMA 2 T2X. I've been running this since Modern Warfare. This is like my favorite one by far. Uh, depth of field off. VRAM usage target. Make sure it's at 90% for the full VRAM usage. Um, I think the default is 85%. Hey, that 5% matters. Next, we got gameplay. Field of view, 105 and affected. Make sure if you are 90 FOV or lower than independent, it's okay. If you're higher than 90 like 95 or higher, I would 100% recommend Affected. Get used to it if it feels a little weird. Uh, I play on 105 in multiplayer. In Warzone, I actually played on 120, but multiplayer does, first of all, doesn't require that like uh, high of an FOV. Two, it's obviously really hard uh, sometimes to see some gunfights, especially long range gunfights. So lowering down FOV helps me uh, win some of those gunfights. Camera movement 50%. Make sure this is 50%. You want it the least possible. World Motion Blur. Uh, they've been having this setting for years off weapon motion blur off it looks cool but off uh reflex low latency i have it on, on plus boost there's the argument that you know on is the same thing almost as on plus boost um the difference is, can be probably minuscule i don't know down to the science maybe there's a big difference on some pcs i don't know exactly but i do know it can make a small difference so i just have it on on plus boost now let's go to the audio master volume 75 dialogue volume 70 now dialogue volume is actually pretty important i don't know if you guys ever heard your character call out important stuff 
like hey uav overhead hey they grab the bomb you know some of these things that normally you don't pick up unless the character says it so it's always nice to have it but you want to have it a little bit lower than all your other uh volume sound effects volume 100 if you feel like your massive volume isn't obviously um too low or too high you can always lower this or up this it really depends on you know what you're rocking the mix amp how high do you have it so there's variables to that um i have my hit marker sound effects on vanguard don't really care about that this is a really important one audio mix make sure it's on headphones headphones will obviously uh sound the best and they don't really have like a low boost or high boost one but in the future they might uh for now headphones 100 percent. you want to have that on and then these are kind of the just what i have on my pc right now uh for interface the only thing i really use is my fps counter if you guys are wondering how to put the fps counter and then if you want certain server latency to see kind of what you're pinging on the server um you can obviously turn some of these settings on and mess kind of around with these things uh, for controller now this is a big thing now i know all of you guys who watch some videos probably aren't controller but i'll say maybe majority of you guys are especially because i am a pro player you know i've been competing for a long time I, I am and i am a controller player so i've been rocking the best settings and i'm going to share with you guys some of the best settings and there's very very important settings in this area i'll, I'll tell you guys soon all right so 661 i always recommend 66 somewhere between six to eight you can play on five but five is kind of too slow man that's such in the past you know if you play on five you know play on five but i would recommend up into six eventually at least play on six uh, i play on six six one um if you're gonna play on like seven or eight lower your ads sense so did you have the ads sensitivity multiplier here if you're gonna play let's say eight you know eight eight put it like 0.75 i mean you have to write it but put 0.75 like kind of make your ads sense make it six six is a good medium where it's not too fast so you can kind of hit those precise shots but it's not too slow where if someone's hitting crazy movement or it's hard to keep up like you're too slow to keep up with them so you kind of want to think about it that way you want your ads sense to be six six uh or just be six when you're aiming in and the big thing about it why you guys wonder why do pro players play on a slower sense why are people playing with slower sense yes higher sense can be flashier higher sense can make you world star someone every now in a blue moon if a player is really good the chance of you world starring starring dumb is very 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 rare on top of it your centering is going to be horrible the lower the sense the better the centering centering is such a crucial uh thing when it comes to hitting precise shots and just being on point with your shot because you're sending everywhere where they're going to be you're ready to t you're ready to uh, just you know hit them and snap on them right away so that's why pros and like a lot of good players like some of the best players in the world all run a lower sense because and that's why their shot's so good so make sure you kind of play around that. So that's just a little tip for you guys. Button layout preset. I do play on tactical flaps. I, I flipped. I've been playing on tactical flip for almost 10 years now. Obviously run whatever you want. If you're wondering how to do flipped, you just press square, show more, and turn it on. Uh, for this one, we got standard, 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 dynamic. Now, pro players have been running this setting ever since MW. Modern Warfare was dynamic, was the first time it was released. I kid you not, 95% of pro players could be 97, 98 of almost every pro player in modern warfare ran dynamic it is that good it basically gave you extra aim assist and as a controller player well that's broken you guys know if you're a keyboard player too so dynamic is obviously really good um in cold war it was slightly not as effective so I, it was like 90 percent of pro players were running dynamic there were some people running standard but i highly recommend it does take a little bit of getting used to you do have to adjust a little bit but dynamic can you know take you to your full potential basically it can allow you to snap and and be precise when you're snapping you know moving around very quickly and be accurate so dynamic is the wave okay pro players use this shit. i use it okay i've been using it ever since it was released it is a very good setting if you play on standard standard is okay i really i'm recommending you guys dynamic if you for some reason don't like dynamic can't get used to dynamic they play on standard do not run linear that is the one thing i'll say do not run linear but if I recommend you guys run dynamic and get used to it if you don't. Controller vibration, I don't know who plays the controller vibration. If you do, well, you're a freaking beast because I cannot play with that thing. Off. Uh, weapon fire threshold on. Uh, ADS sensitivity transition timing instant. We have this on one. Stick layout default. Controller orientation up. ADS stick swap off. And now to the bigger and crazier things. Input dead zone zero. Right trigger uh, input dead zone zero. So this is left trigger, right trigger. Obviously the dead zone basically you know when you click it how fast is respawn um a lot of a lot nowadays people have you know modern controllers however you want to call them scuff battle beavers where they kind of like are like a button already but obviously this can change you know 0.5 millisecond you know one 0.1 millisecond 
you know whatever it makes a very small difference but it makes a difference so zero zero you obviously don't want to have this up at all because you want your your triggers to be reacting right away for the dead zone left stick this is your moving stick you could put it on zero when you move you want your stick to be loose and it doesn't really get uh i guess stick drift because it's your left stick like it can a little bit uh, but even if you're getting some you can just increase it a little bit default is five but you can always if, if you're getting a little strict drift you can run like two or three um if you can run zero run zero uh right stick usually you want to hover around like four to six um you know you can go lower but then it kind of becomes weird because your dead zone becomes very sensitive um and if you have it too high you should probably get a new controller because that means your dead zone is gonna be really weird i feel like you're you're not gonna be, be able to play at your full potential I have it on five or six just depending how my controller feeling and then you want to have these both on 99 and now for the last thing but this is very 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 important and i'm gonna tell you why in a second target aim assist we have it on on now i heard people messing with black ops uh, target aim assist mode i like default i'm gonna stick to default for now uh obviously ads aim assist on uh this is ads melee on 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 off 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 now, why, Apathy? Why is this setting so important? Why do you have automatic airborne mantle grounded mantle off? Well, here's why. I'm explaining to you guys this very quickly and explain to you as good as I can. I don't know if you guys noticed when you're slide canceling in this game, for some reason, with this setting on, it makes you jump when you slide cancel. Your movement is not as fluid as, as it is in Warzone or Modern Warfare. So it just messes you up for some reason. This is a setting that you know pros or like grinders have realized to turn this off and it actually makes you stay on the floor it's crazy it basically replicates replicates modern warfare movement so you guys are wondering man my, my movement feels a little clunky my guys jumping all the time when i try to slide cancel it's not smooth if you have these off your guy will basically do that you will have this a very very similar or almost exact movement as modern warfare and it is a game changer because I was losing full when I I felt the same way. So make sure you have these off. I don't know. I don't know if it's a bug. I don't know the in-depth detail to why it does it. But I mean, it just says grounded mantle. I don't know. There's something has something with it. So make sure these set, these things are off in order to have that smooth and clean movement sl slash slide cancel. Uh, I have that off. You know, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> automatic sprint. I do have automatic uh, tactical sprint. Easier to slide cancel, move around. Uh, spring cancel reload on uh door bash on slide behavior tap this is another big thing if you play modern warfare you know this if you play warzone you probably know this if you didn't or you're maybe a little bit newbie it's okay that's why i'm here baby uh slide behavior tap it'll allow you to slide cancel and slide a lot easier and sl your slide cancels will be so much faster and better uh hold 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 tap to reload and toggle that's it guys that's all the settings i uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to leave a like i plan to upload more tips and informative videos for you guys on top of some phenomenal gameplay so if you like to see more tips and all that good stuff make sure to like and subscribe to the channel obviously these are some of the best settings that i'll be using pretty much throughout the whole year um i love it F fps is great you know game feels smooth quality looks good uh, I might make one or two slight adjustments uh, throughout the year, but pretty much is what I'm rocking with. Uh, make sure you are, you are as well. Trust me. I hope you guys all have a freaking great day, great night, wherever you are. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Apathy, aka The Donk, out.